good morning students welcome back to yet another class on data structure greetings from department of computer science islamia college vaniambadi this is professor maigalan associate professor in computer science islamia college vaniambadi in the last class we discussed about stack as a linear data structure simply saying how to implement stack using arrays you know what is a stack is it's a abstract data type in which the elements are processed in the last in first out order last in first out order that stack can be implemented either using array or using pointer in the last class we implemented a stack using array first we defined the uh, class uh, stack type then we defined two private members top and uh, an array to hold the elements of the stack then we performed various operations on the stack as checking whether the stack is empty or not checking whether the stack is full or not then uh, inserting a value that is pushing a value into the stack removing a value from the stack then displaying the contents of that stack those things we have discussed in the last class and we implemented also now we are going to see an example of a stack how a stack is used one of the application of the stack is uh, converting an infix expression into a postfix expression infix arithmetic expression into a postfix arithmetic expression what is an infix arithmetic expression it is an expression in which an operator is bounded by two operands that is operands connected by operators are called arithmetic expressions provided the operators are addition subtraction multiplication division and exponentiation operators okay so here you see this is a uh, infix expression you see e exponentiation f these two are the operands uh, they are connected by this exponentiation these two are operands connected by division operator b and c are operands connected by star a a plus this expression this expression is connected with a by this plus operator like this this is a uh infix expression so how we are going to convert this infix expression into a postfix expression what is a postfix expression it is an expressions in which the operands comes first then the uh, operator for example a plus b is an infix expression the corresponding postfix expression is a b plus a b plus a b Uh, the operands coming first then the operator plus such an expression is postfix expression so to convert an infix expression into a postfix expression stack can be used so here comes the algorithm for converting a infix expression into a postfix expression using stack so before uh, go into the logic of this uh, Uh, conversion algorithm we should assume several things so an expression is made up of uh, operators like a plus a minus a star is less a exponentiation each should be given some precedence level precedence level okay the precedence level of plus and minus is one the precedence level of star and division is uh, multiplication and division is two the precedence level of uh, exponentiation is 3 that you should know and also you should know that i am going to k 
keep in the stack the operators on the left brackets of the given expression and you should know that an operator of higher uh, lower precedence an operator of lower precedence can cannot be placed above an operator of higher precedence in the uh, in the stack that is uh, the operators plus and minus have a lesser precedence value than the star and the slash at no place the plus or minus can be placed above star or slash in the stack that you should know like that this uh, upper cap uh, uh, the above upper cap uh, none of these two operator uh, plus or minus star slash can be placed in the stack that uh, with that understanding uh, we go for the algorithm here let us take this expression is q suppose q is an arithmetic expression written in infix notation so this is a expression written in infix notation this algorithm finds the equivalent postfix expression p after converting this one i will get the expression p now this uh, uh, algorithm will ask you to scan the given uh, expression from the left side one by one to the right side in this expression the operands are a b c d e f g h they will not be stored in the stack they will be taken to the output uh, answer string straight away when they are scanned when they are scanned and also we will just insert the left bracket into the stack we will not insert or push the right bracket we will not push the right bracket okay now you see here push the left bracket onto the screen onto the stack i am scanning from here first i encounter the left bracket based on the step 1 uh, what i do i i push the left bracket into the stack okay scan q from the left to the right and repeat steps 3 to the step 6 for each element of q until the stack becomes empty so we will be storing values into the stack uh, till the stack becomes empty we will repeat the steps 3 to 6 okay if an operand is encountered add it to the result uh, expression p if a left bracket is encountered push it into the stack if star or slash is encountered then repeatedly pop from the stack each operator which has same precedence or higher precedence than uh, star for example uh, if a star or slash is encountered if in the stack already a star operator or slash operator or a upper cap cap operator is there exponentiation operator is there means then you remove them one by one you remove them one by one after that add that star into the stack similarly if a right bracket is encountered right bracket is encountered then repeatedly pop from the stack pop from the stack and add it to the answer p uh, until the left bracket is uh, scanned okay after that remove the uh, left bracket with that understanding let us trace out this expression now first the symbol encountered is left bracket you put that into the stack after that what is the thing you are getting we are scanning the symbol a this is a character uh, this is a operand 
so this should not be put into the stack so this operand a is taken to the output string a then the next operator next scan is uh, symbol is plus uh, the next symbol is plus when it is scanned based on this algorithm this plus is inserted into the stack so this plus is pushed into the stack the stack becomes open bracket uh, left bracket star plus so plus is here in the top already the expression is a then next is after plus then next symbol is left bracket left bracket left bracket means push left into the stack that is push this left bracket into the stack now it is bracket plus bracket what is the next one b b b is a operand so when it is a operand push it uh, add it to the expression so it becomes a b this is the expression then the what is the next one star okay star what is the step uh, five says if star is encountered then pop from the stack see here star, star what is the topmost value in the stack it is left bracket it doesn't have any precedence and also uh, so there is no element to be no element which is uh, having higher precedence over the star is there so nothing is popped out so you just this uh, push this star into the stack so still the output expression is a b then the next symbol is c okay it is a operand take it to the output a b c next symbol is minus here you see minus symbol is minus now what is the topmost value in the stack now star star has a higher precedence than minus you see here star has a precedence of 2 whereas minus has the precedence of 1 so this uh, so this top value star should be removed and added to the output so this star is popped out and added to the output and after that this minus is pushed into the uh, stack minus is pushed into the stack okay then the next one is left bracket just to push it into the stack still the output is a b c star the next one is b it's operand take it to the output the next one is a slash next one is slash okay is there any uh, is there any operator having higher precedence over this slash in the stack no nothing is there so you just push this uh, slash division operator into the stack so still your output is abc star d the next symbol is e e it's operand take it to the output so abc star d e then comes upper caret upper caret okay now what is the uh, top value here slash slash has a lesser present over uh, exponentiation so nothing is popped out from the stack just to add it to the stack okay still the output string is a b c star d e the next value is f it's operand take it to the output next is right bracket here comes the question when it is right bracket step six is that if your right bracket is encountered repeatedly props from stack added to p until your left bracket is encountered so here the symbol we are scanning is right bracket so we are popping this uh, exponentiation and take it to the output so it becomes a b c star d e f upper exponentiation then the next one is slash that is also taken to the output string uh, after popping slash we are getting the left bracket so until your left bracket is then scanned yes popped out okay good so 
this is not this is removed so the remaining values are left bracket plus left bracket minus okay then after this what you are getting star you are getting star now uh, is there any top value in the stack which is uh, having higher precedence over stack star no so simply you are pushing the star into the stack still this is the output string then the next one is g uh, it is a operator and take it to the output string next one is right bracket right bracket so we have to pop it out pop it out these two strings till this uh, till this left bracket is encountered so this star is taken to the output minus is taken to the output so this is left out so now the elements in the stack are left bracket plus then <clears throat> next symbol scan is star so uh, star has a higher percent over plus so it is simply taken to the stack left bracket plus a star still this is the string then the next one is h it is a operand taken to the string output string then the next one is right bracket so you remove from the stack till left bracket is encountered the star is taken to the output the plus is taken to the output and this uh, left bracket is discarded rejected left out taken away so this is the final answer this is the uh, post fix expression equivalent of this given uh, infix expression given infix expression that is how we solve this one it is a example of uh, example for application of a stack so see how extensively we are using stack to convert this infix expression into a output expression okay. we will implement it in the form of a program in the coming days like this there is another application for uh, stack that is <clears throat> evaluating a postfix expression evaluate what is the answer for the given postfix arithmetic expression that we can do that is also an application of uh, stack we will not be writing programs that i want you to know that uh, a stack can be used to evaluate an postfix expression in the coming classes we are going to implement a stack using uh, pointers that is we are going to implement a linked stack to get a better idea about linked stack you should recall whatever you know about self referential structures self referential structures which you have uh, you have studied in the c language what is a structure a structure is a uh structured data in which multiple values of different data types can be stored and accessed under a common name for example if student is a structure his roll number could be a integer his height could be a, a uh, float value his uh, gender is a character information his mark in the examination is a integer so these are all collective uh, values of different data types and they can be uh, accessed under the student structure now what is this self referential structure yeah, it is a basically a structure having a pointer as its member and that pointer is pointing the very same structure if that is so that is a self referential structure a yeah, structure having a pointer member pointing the same structure is called self referential structure that concept is going to be used in implementing a linked uh, stack uh, 
for that I, uh, you recall uh, about pointers and uh, dynamic memory allocation for pointers in the c language uh, dynamic memory allocation is possible through the functions malloc and calloc uh, what is a pointer variable a pointer variable is a variable uh, having the memory address of another variable memory address of another variable so a pointer uh, memory for a pointer variable can be allocated using two methods static memory allocation and a dynamic memory allocation so you, you in the programming coding itself if you give the memory address of a variable to a pointer variable then that is called uh, static memory allocation whereas if you are using calloc and malloc functions to reserve a memory and uh, and make it pointed by a pointer variable then that is called dynamic memory allocation okay uh, in the c++ language instead of using the calloc and malloc we will be using uh, two operators called the new and delete to create and remove uh, dynamic memory allocations for pointer variables okay so when you come for the next class you brush up your knowledge of c language especially the pointers and the dynamic memory allocation okay so rest of the things we will see it in the next class okay.